so today we're going to show you how to make granola. Very good. Okay, these are our two oldest daughters, and we're going to do a quick demo on granola. Why don't you girls tell us what we need to make it? We need oatmeal, coconuts, corn syrup, corn syrup or honey, dried apples. We're going to need raisins, almonds, almonds. You can like use any fruit or any type of nut. And we're going to need some oil. Okay, very good. Okay, so I'm going to kind of walk us through. There are two things I noticed we don't have up there. Um, cinnamon, and I think we're out of vanilla. Do you all have the cinnamon? Okay, why don't, why don't you get the cinnamon. The other one, we're going to start um, with five cups of the oats. And I do want to mention while you're doing that, go ahead. Um, this recipe I got off of our Christian Moms Forum. Um, that I'm a part of, and it can be made either in the oven, <laughs> we're getting kind of messy over there, it can be made in the oven or in the crock pot, and I'll show you the crock pot version at the end. First we're going to mix um, these first set of ingredients into our bowl, and um, we're going to go ahead, if you're in a rush, you can bake it, uh, otherwise you can leave it on the crock pot on low for five hours, so... Um, we'll okay, go now we're that. measuring. Marissa is getting a cup of our coconut. For those who don't like coconut, this is optional. Mariah, go ahead and pour it in. Um, she has there a half a cup. We are using corn syrup um, only because we haven't met up with our local beekeeper recently to get honey. You can use your honey or your maple syrup. Um, corn syrup is not the ideal, but it works pretty well gets the job done. Um, Mariah, go ahead and measure a half cup of your oil there. Um, we're using vegetable oil. On this recipe we have found in the forum, you can also use coconut oil. So we're going to do a half a cup of that. And you're going to mix all this together so it's um, spread evenly through the oats, throughout the oats. Also, how much vanilla did the recipe call for? One to two teaspoons? I think it is? Teaspoons? Okay, um, we're out of vanilla today. We've been doing a lot of baking, but we can go ahead and use the cinnamon. Mariah, how much cinnamon? Um, one teaspoon. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put in the cinnamon, and as you see, Marissa is doing a good job stirring. Now, if you all stay tuned with us, at the end I do have a few activities for your school-age children. Um, concerning granola, a few kind of projects that I want to share. But as Marissa is doing that, we do have our oven heating currently, right? What temperature did we put it on? 200 degrees. Okay, so we've got it on low, and it takes up to about an hour on a low setting, and you're going to stir it frequently till it's golden brown. Okay, um... You'll notice in the beginning the girls mentioned we chose for our dried fruits. We had, um, what did we have? Craisins, dried apples, and then for our nuts we did um, sliced almonds. If you buy these in bulk, uh, you would probably come out and this would be cheaper than <laughs> the way we're doing it. But granola is a great option um, as far as, you know, could, compared to, say, store bought cereal. Uh, we've bought store-bought in the past. I've always wanted to know how to do granola, and um, this is just the healthier option. Also, if you've watched some of our other videos, you'll notice we even show you how to make um, really easy soy milk and um, also how to make homemade yogurt, and that goes very well with granola. So I'm going to try to post there under the info section on YouTube those links so you can also, um, you know, try to mix that up as well. Or you can just visit our family's channel at Nine Joy Family there on YouTube, and you'll see the videos we've made and find the soy milk and yogurt. Okay, so girls, let's go ahead. I'm going to get the pan ready, and we will put it in the pan. All right, so this is what it looks like before it's been baked. Like I said, it's going to take about an hour. And then um, yesterday we did one in the crock pot. This is going to be the finished um, look you want, and it's you know crunchy. It's cooked. 
Um, when you're doing it in the crock pot, you are going to want to stir it, you know, every so often and more frequently, the recipe said, toward the end. So I'm going to help the girls get their oven version um, put in the oven, and then we're going to go ahead and add the dried fruit and nuts to our crock pot version. Okay, now, the recipe did not indicate if we have to spray our crock pot first, but I did. And you'll notice that there are a few... Um, parts of the oats that were really crunchy and dark brown, so you can just kind of pick those out um, and dispose of them. And let's see, the girls here are putting the craisins, the dried apples we had cut up. You're getting about a third to a half a cup of each. Um, did you guys pour them all? What's left? Okay. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and pour that in. I'm going to give you the spoon back to mix it up. Okay. And go ahead and mix that up. It's going to be really pretty. Um, my cousin, who originally helped with the girls and I make this recipe, uh, she said it looks like a little fall fall mixture there. It's really good. Okay, so once that's mixed, you can put it in whatever storage container you're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and get now that. Now we have ready. a couple containers, right, girls? Show us what you have. It's a jaw and you can wash it out real good. Okay. Go ahead and fill that one up. And remember, um, hold it over. Yeah, hold it over there. Um, remember that we don't have extra preservatives and whatnot, so I really don't know the shelf life of this. <laughs> Other than you want to eat it, I would say within a week. Um, but there's that. Go ahead and hold it up, Rissy. Mariah had something she wanted to add to it to decorate it. Okay, she wants to give it a little pizzazz. Okay, while well, Mariah's doing that, Marissa, what do we have here for our container? We have It's an old ice cream? Yeah. yeah. Right, so go ahead and dump it in. Or if you want, you can even hold the bowl up to it if you want. So while we're dumping that, um, just keep in mind we are making another batch in the oven. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut this film short because you've seen the texture the oven version will be. Uh, just remember to keep stirring it. Uh, do not add your fruit, your dried fruit, um, while it's baking. It'll get tough from what I read. I'm not sure the nuts may be okay if you add the nuts. Uh, but save the dried fruit and if you want, save the nuts at the end and just add them. You can also use raisins, um, dried apricots, what, what else, dried, what else, pineapple maybe? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think they have dried pineapple. Yeah, there's some. It's harder to find. Dried strawberries. Dried strawberries. Those may be a little harder to find. I've seen dried cherries also. So, And that's it. Voila. See you. Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir. Marissa. Okay, the first activity I wanted to mention was doing a cost comparison where you'll calculate the prices um, if you buy your ingredients in bulk versus smaller portions. Um, you're going to have to take into account the quantities and do a little mathematical calculation. So that's exciting and a good way to um, incorporate this into your homeschooling lessons. And the second activity has to do with storage techniques. Obviously, we didn't put extra preservatives, so the pantry, you know, for shelf life isn't going to be very long. But if you refrigerate or freeze your granola, you can uh, make a chart and compare um, if the taste isn't compromised, if you, say, store it for a week versus a month in the freezer, um, and go ahead and rate how it tastes, either plain or with your yogurt or milk. So that's another idea to incorporate in your lessons. And that was the end of our granola video. Remember, I'm Maya and Lisa. And visit us at www.joyfuljunction.com. Bye!